What are the hardest things about the USMLE exams? In this video, I will go over the main challenges that you will face while preparing for your USMLE exams and how to overcome that. The first challenge is the lack of unified resources. Most of us, when we were in medical school, there was a specific resource or book we study from. We go to the exam and the questions come from that book. But unfortunately, on the USMLE exam, there is no such a book. On the contrary, there are tons of books and question banks and assessment tools that you can prepare from. What is the single best resource? Nobody knows. However, the match guy made it easy for you. We created multiple blogs that we talk about the best resources to prepare for both the step one and step two CK and the advantages and disadvantages of each so you know how to prepare best based on what your target score is. I also created a free guide for both the step one and step two CK that you can use when preparing for both exams that doesn't only talk about the resources but all the aspects related to the exam so you can ace your exam. Yes, it's fully free and you can get it by clicking on the link in the description below. One thing to keep in mind though when you're preparing for both step one and step two CK when it comes to resources is don't overwhelm yourself with resources. This is an advice I give to every medical student who asks me. Don't go and try to prepare from every single resource. Master one or two that are the best and then go for the exam rather than trying to study 50 resources to get the highest score. That actually doesn't get you the highest score. It just gets, gets you more confused and more distracted without mastering one of these resources. When it comes to resources, one advice I give medical students is that the less the better. I prefer you to master one or two good resources and go to the exam rather than trying to study five or ten resources and not mastering any of them. The second challenge that faces most of us USMLE aspirants is the amount of information tested on each exam. When we were in med school, including US students, you get tested on a specific subject and then you go to the other one and then the other one. Here you have whole basic science subjects on the step one exam, the whole clinical medicine on the step two CK exam. So you have a lot of information that you need to memorize and understand before you go to the exam. And how can you overcome that challenge? First is by studying less resources whenever you have a ton of resources you're gonna get overwhelmed with the amount of information because the amount of information is already too much and when you add too many resources over that it's gonna definitely lead to either overwhelmed or not sending any of the information well so that's why I recommend picking your resources wisely that will allow you to get good base without overwhelming yourself and number two is good study techniques a lot of students read and read and don't memorize or study anything focus on active recall space repetition and mnemonics to help you memorize the information and we explain that in detail in our course how to study for exams the third challenge is the length of questions on the USMLE exams each question is like a big paragraph especially on the step 2 CK and with the limited time available for each question you usually get 1.5 minutes for each question Some Sometimes you might not be able to solve all the questions in a block in the one hour available and missing questions result in lower scores. So how can you overcome that challenge? The best way to do that is to solve your question banks when you're studying such as UOL or AMBOSS in a timed mode, which means you solve 40 questions in one hour, which is similar to the exam. So from day one, you get used to the idea that you only have one minute and a half for each question. And that will train you to read questions quickly, to look for these keywords, look at the answers and make a decision very fast. Before we go on to the next challenge, make sure to check out the fully free resource I have for you, USMLE aspirants, if you're preparing for the step one or the step two CK exam. And you'll find the link for that guide in the description below. The first hardest thing about the USMLE exam is the complexity of the questions. The majority of the questions on the exam are not straightforward. They won't just ask you, give me the mechanism of action of this medication, which uh, bacteria uh, gets this color in that medium. They are way more complex than that. They usually give you a presentation of a disease, they have you think about what is the cause of this disease and then they tell you what is the mechanism of action of the me uh, medication you can use in that disease process or what is the enzyme deficient in that disease presentation so they don't even tell you the name of the disease you have to think based on the presentation link these two things and then come up with an answer to overcome that difficulty you need to solve as many questions as possible because if you just read books 
you won't get into the habit of linking information from multiple systems. And also you need to study well, not just read questions and solve questions. You need to study and start linking information from the different resources that you are preparing from. So it all comes down to picking the right resources, using the right study strategy, solving questions as if you are on the real exam, and studying questions from day one. Before you go, make sure to check out the fully free guide I have for those preparing for the step one or step two CK that go into all the details you need to master your exam. If there are other things that you found challenging on your USMLE exams, make sure to drop them in the comments below. If you find any value in this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and good luck on your exam. Peace.